next uh, step step number four will be about uh, delta p1 and delta s1 so delta p1 will be equal to delta p upon number of stages like we had done in the previous case here it will be delta p upon number of stages is 2 and delta p is something that we had calculated from the previous value so that was nothing but delta p was 5.77 into 10 raised to minus 3 so 5.77 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 2 will be 2.85 into 10 raised to minus 3 and uh, like the previous case delta s1 will always remain same as overall delta s which is 0 0.00 which will be nothing but 3.16 into 10 raised to minus 3 so that's my delta s so finally step number uh, 5 will be nothing but calculation of the filter length m1 will have the same formula minus 10 log of delta p1 into delta s1 minus 13 this thing will be divided by 14.6 into delta f1 plus 1 and this will come out to be 11 point something so we assume m1 to be 12 it will come out to be 10 point something so we will approximate the length uh, of first filter m1 as 11 so that's the first answer let us now quickly write down the steps for the second stage very briefly because it will be exactly on the same lines so in stage 2 the very first thing you have to understand is that i will be equal to 2 step 1 was about passband and passband never changes so f will be between 0 and 20 kilohertz so that's my pass band uh, in the second step we calculate stop band we basically require f stop 2 in this case f stop 2 will be 1 upon 2 i will follow that same formula it will be f2 minus i2 into fs by 2 so this will be half into 2 because i is equal to 2 f2 that means the sampling frequency at the uh, output will be now 176.4 k minus i2 is 2 fs uh, was given as 44.1 k divided by 2 so this 2 and this 2 will cancel out and if you solve this we will get f stop 2 equal to 66.15 kilohertz so that's my f stop in the second case step 3 was about calculating delta f which is the normalized transition width delta f2 in this case will become 66.15 uh, k which is new f stop minus fp will always remain same that is 20 k and this time it will be divided by output sampling frequency of this stage which will be 176.4 k so if you calculate this it will be 0.26 one six in step four we will take delta p2 delta p2 will be exactly same as delta p upon number of stages which is two so that will be same as delta p1 which was 2.885 into 10 raised to minus 3 and delta s will be something that never changes so we had calculated is that it has 3.16 into 10 raised to minus 3 so if you now apply the formula for m2 m2 will be minus 10 log of delta p2 delta s2 minus 13 divided by 14.6 into delta f2 plus 1 uh, this this whole thing will come out to be 